Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to use the Reference Coordinate Center in 3ds Max. With this tool, we can get super accurate when we rotate, move, or scale our objects. It allows us to transform objects based on different points, like viewport, the world, or even other objects. Now, let's talk about the different types of Transform Center Reference Coordinates you can use. There are three main ones, Pivot Point Center, Selection Center, and Transform Coordinate Center. On my previous video, we learned about the first two, so we're going to focus on the Transform Coordinate Center option. But let's keep the Pivot Point Center selected for now, and let's make sure our Coordinate System is set to View. Now, this is important. The Coordinate System you choose is different from the Transform Center mode. The Coordinate System defines the orientation of your assets. Think of your X, Y, and Z direction. While the Transform Center mode tells the software where the center of your transformation should be within that coordinate system. Okay, let's select one object and then select the rotate tool. We can see how the object rotates around its own center. But what if we select both sofas? See how the rotation point shift? That's because the pivot point center calculates a center based on all the selected objects. Let's change our transform center mode to transform coordinate center. This is the last option in the menu we can see how the gizmo changes to the center of the viewport. Now, if we rotate our objects, the rotation happens at the center. If we zoom or pan, we can see how the gizmo is locked in this position. Let's select one more object. The gizmo remains in place, allowing us to rotate all the objects using the same point. Let's take this a step further. Let's say you want to rotate one of the sofas around the exact center of the table. With the reference coordinate system, you can find a peak option. If you activate this and then click on the table, the transform center will instantly snap to the table center. Now, let's test it. If you select the sofa and try to rotate it, it will now orbit around the table. See how handy that is? You can use any object in your scene as a reference for your transformations. When you are working with groups, like in this example, if you try to click on a group, you might find that it selects individual objects within the group instead, or the entire group itself. What you need to do is press H key on your keyboard. This will bring up the Pick Object screen. In this list, you will see all the objects and groups in your scene listed by name. Simply click the name of the group you want to use for your reference, select it, and click OK. Now, 3D Max will treat the entire group as one single object for the purpose of your transformation. If you now try to rotate something using this group as a reference, it will rotate around the group center. This is super handy for keeping complex scenes organized and making sure your transformations are exactly how you want them. Before we wrap this tutorial, let's touch up on some common pitfalls. One mistake I see quite often is accidentally transforming objects around the ground center. Always double check which transform center mode is active before you start moving, scaling, or rotating. Also, sometimes people confuse the transform center with the object's individual pivot point. Remember, that the pivot point is the local origin of a single object, while the transform center is the reference point used for transformations, and it can be influenced by multiple selections and different modes. All right, we covered a lot today. Just to recap, we learned what the transform center is, why it's so important for precise object manipulation, how to access the settings, and how to use it. Remember, understanding these concepts will give you much more control and flexibility in your 3D projects, Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.